Finally tonight here, get ready for takeoff. No plane needed, just a jet suit move over Iron Man. Finally tonight here, get ready for takeoff. No plane needed, just a jet suit. Move over Iron Man. Jetpack technology has gone from science fiction to fact. With cutting edge design and pinpoint precision engineering, these individual flight systems have come a long way from the Bell Rocket Belt to current innovations. British inventors have made military personnel into contemporary iron men with state-of-the-art propulsion. Jetpacks, which have been a mainstay of science fiction for so long, are here, and they are doing incredible things. Join us as we explore creative jetpacks that are revolutionizing the world and making human flight a reality like never before. But while the dream of flight has dazzled imaginations for decades, one machine is turning that dream into a tactical reality. What happens when six turbojets meet a single human body? Ready for liftoff. JB-12 Jetpack. Jetpack aviation is at the vanguard of air innovation, transforming human flight abilities through state-of-the-art technology. As trailblazers in personal airborne transportation, they've developed the JB-12 Jetpack, a staggering feat that is the epitome of today's aerospace engineering. Entirely manufactured in the United States of America, this sophisticated machine is a reflection of American ingenuity in aircraft technology. The JB-12 is the newest model in an ongoing evolving series of personal flight gear, specifically engineered to provide superior aerodynamic capabilities. Its propulsion system consists of six high-precision turbojet engines that provide never-before-seen amounts of balance, direction control, and thrust management for flight operations. These new capabilities are particularly significant in high-speed operations and real-terrain obstacle evasion. Military and rescue response usage was primarily driven by the JB-12 development. The device's general-purpose utility is of use for a wide range of tactical missions such as rapid deployment missions, hard rescue missions, and reconnaissance missions where conventional transport is impractical. Pilots obtain the capability to fly in space with breathtaking accuracy on an intuitive dual joystick flight control system through innovative engineering solutions by Jetpack Aviation. With a system well suited for the intuitive control of airspeed, altitude, and trajectory in flight, exceptional usability is the top priority. Anything conceptual, the JB 12 was tested thoroughly under actual usage and validated. Its small size is a strategic treasure, something that allows instant deployment, manpack portability, and storage in cramped spaces. Such a feature is priceless for military forces needing instant mobilization capacity without the logistical cost of heavy equipment. With the intersection of phenomenal thrust generation and rapid acting architecture, the JB-12 is nothing short of flying machinery. It's an advanced tactical tool, yes, a flying device that does everything but land. The implications of this technology are massive, envisioning a ground-up revision in how military personnel and emergency response teams carry out essential missions. As technology continues to advance ever more rapidly, the idea of jetpacks as a standard military issue seems all the more likely. The addition of such technology could revolutionize battlefield mobility and emergency response procedures, maybe even breaking into a new age of tactical operations. But before the JB-12 ever lifted a boot off the ground, one iconic machine lit the fuse. Where did this revolution begin, and how did a Cold War-era gadget become the spark for a global jetpack race? Bell Rocket Belt. Modern technology's lineage is through a phenomenal creation, the Bell Rocket Belt. The initial jetpack initiated personal flying. American engineers created this phenomenon during the 1960s. Propelled by hydrogen peroxide, the invention earned its place in film history as a memorable part of the James Bond film Thunderball, becoming part of mainstream culture. The propulsion system worked by decomposing hydrogen peroxide into a high-pressure oxygen and steam mixture capable of propelling an individual through the air for some 20 seconds. The Bell Rocket Belt achieved phenomenal performance statistics, 30-foot altitudes and 60 miles per hour speeds. Smaller by today's standards, this record was revolutionary for its day. Originally intended for military purposes, 
the aircraft was heavily tested for emergency response operations and rapid troop deployment. The flight time was restricted, and maneuverability during flight was challenging, so it was never used in combat service. However, through the program, something extraordinary was demonstrated. Flight by a single human being had become a reality. Jetman's ground to sky. In a record-breaking feat that transformed aviation history, Vince Raffet accomplished the impossible which the majority of people believed was unachievable. Unlike conventional jet-powered adventurers who exploited helicopters or aircraft to propel themselves, he pursued a completely different route. With his feet still on the ground, he achieved what would be one of the most significant achievements in aviation history. He began his remarkable journey in Dubai, where he collaborated with the creative Jetman Dubai team. They collaboratively developed a revolutionary carbon fiber jetwing system that would challenge conventional wisdom on the possibilities of human flight. The innovative system was equipped with four miniature turbojet engines sleekly integrated into its aerodynamic shape. The truly innovative feature of this invention was the control system. While conventional aircraft are navigated through mechanical controls, this system was navigated purely through the physical movements of the pilot. The record attempt was made with calculated precision from a specially constructed elevated platform. Thunderpack TPR-2G2 The TPR-2G2 carries much more than traditional jetpack technology. Its innovative coupling of advanced design and mind-bending power carries unparalleled technological sophistication. Tactical leaders and civilian adventurers have equal claim to this airplane's potential. The TPR-2G2's power plant can support phenomenal speed and flight altitude capacity, and so it is severely capable of tactical assignment as well as breathtaking spectacle. One of the most excellent features of the Thunderpack is its highly advanced system of balance. Unlike risky do-it-yourself gadgets that might have their pilots suspended in mid-air, this highly developed device offers smooth, stable flight. It has high fuel efficiency so that it can stay in flight for longer durations, and this makes it a practical device and not a fad gadget. What is so fascinating about the TPR-2G2 is that it is a direct offshoot of the original TPR-1G2 design. This next version has amazing improvements in sustained flight times, maneuverability, and overall safety features. As a second-generation propulsion system, it offers a preview of things to come for aviation, when humans will be flying through airspaces with the kinetic freedom usually reserved for action movies. Martin Jetpack Imagine traveling back to the dawn of personal flight technology, where New Zealand took its place as the unlikely champion of the field. The Martin Jetpack, brought to life by visionary inventor Glenn Martin, was one of our first serious attempts to turn science fiction into an everyday fact. What really made it different from today's turbine-powered backpacks so advanced is that it went about it another way. Instead of attempting to utilize small turbines, it employed high-powered ducted fans in a twin vertical turboprop setup, which gave it the brute force to propel a human over 3,000 feet into the air. From the moment it appeared in the mid-2000s, the Martin jetpack was in the news, and for good reason. This was no flashy, publicity-seeking gimmickry. This was a well-considered machine designed with real-world daily applications in mind. From delivering emergency responders to disaster sites in a hurry, to helping soldiers achieve their missions, to carrying out painstaking industrial site inspections.